Hey Astro Kids and welcome back and in today's video we'll be talking about Saturn in the third house. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. A few quick disclaimers before we get into this video. First of all, Saturn is all about our karma. It is a heavily karmic planet. So we have to understand that Saturn is a planet that will grow with time. And so the most important periods that indicate this growth are at the age of 30 when we go through our Saturn return and at the age of 36 when Saturn reaches its maturity. You also want to see how is Saturn being aspected? What sign is it placed in? Which two houses of your natal chart does Saturn rule over? And you want to see if Saturn is conjunct with any planets. And are these planets impacting Saturn in a positive or negative sense? All of this will make a huge difference when looking at Saturn's position. You will also find that Saturn's influence will become active for you during your Saturn Mahadasha. So what is Saturn all about? Saturn, as I said, is a heavily karmic planet. It holds our past life karmas that have to be addressed in this lifetime. So Saturn tends to bring us obstacles and delays in life. However, these are also areas where we tend to see growth and improvement with time. Saturn is all about maturity, discipline, patience, hard work. It is about the reality of life. It teaches us through experience. And Saturn is a very knowledgeable planet. It is all about, again, the reality. So very analytical. It is a planet that teaches us lessons that helps us to grow and to achieve long-lasting results. So what is the third house? The third house is the house of communication. It is all about all forms of communication, whether that is spoken, written, through social media, through technology, all sources of communication. This is all about journalism, all about business, marketing. This is a house that is dealing with technology, that is dealing with writing abilities, that is dealing with all sorts of technical skills and creativity. Anything that we do with our hands can be seen through this third house as the third house is related to the hands, arms, and shoulders. The third house is also our immediate surroundings of our siblings, our cousins, our neighbors, our close relatives. This third house is all about connecting and working together with the people around us. This is also the house where our ego develops. So this is all about our initiation, our push forward into the world. This is the house of courage, the house of taking risk, the house of overcoming obstacles. It is all about your willpower, all about your courage courage to take action in life. The third house is also about your desires and ambitions. It is a very sexual house. It is all about how you achieve your desires in life. Third house is a house of short trips and travel. It is all about change of residence and any short trips within your local environment. Third house is also your subjective mind, your analytical skills, and your intelligence. And it can be related to the development of your skills and knowledge base. So it is all about taking practical use of the knowledge and talents that you possess. So what happens when Saturn enters into the third house? Well, once again, Saturn tends to bring obstacles and difficulties into life. So it is going to bring a lot of obstacles and restrictions into this third house. With Saturn in the third house, you may have difficulties with communication. And this will depend upon how Saturn is placed. If you have Saturn in its own sign of Capricorn or Aquarius or exalted in Libra, then you may have excellent communication skills, but you're a very slow speaker. If you have Saturn in a weaker position, then this may mean that you are more introverted, more on the shy side, less inclined to speak in public situations. So there can be social anxiety and all sorts of speech related issues in this third house. And this can be seen with all forms of communication. So you may have 
restrictions around communicating, even through texting or phone calls. You may be a person who prefers not to speak. You are more on the introverted side. You prefer your own company. And due to these language or speech issues within this third house. This can mean that you are misunderstood by others. And so you can have all sorts of disagreements and conflicts in communication with other people. And this can make you feel isolated and lonely from a very young age. Along with this, this third house is about courage. It is about taking action. And so with Saturn in this third house, if you have this in a difficult position, then you may lack the confidence to take action at times. You may have excellent ideas, excellent talents and skills, but you hesitate to express this. If you have Saturn strongly placed in your chart, you can be someone who is very serious in your approach to put forth your efforts. So you can be very hardworking, very determined. In general, this position makes you someone who is very hardworking, very persistent. You are able to work for long amounts of time. So this is an excellent position for any jobs that require hard work or that require a great deal of concentration and focus. This is an excellent position for research. This is an excellent position for any kind of careers that involve problem solving or working from behind the scenes. With Saturn here, though, you may have different difficulties with teamwork, particularly if you have communication issues in this house. So you may be someone who likes to work alone. You prefer to work for yourself. So this is an excellent position for self-employment. This also, though, as you get older, can give you very authoritative speech, very clear, very concise. You can articulate well, and this can make you an excellent team leader. This can also give you issues with your siblings. Sometimes, if Saturn in particular is placed in a difficult position, this can give you all sorts of conflicts with your siblings. Your siblings can treat you badly with this Saturn third house because they misunderstand you. So this can be a very difficult placement for your connection with your siblings. If you have Saturn placed well within your chart, then this can also make you very serious in your relationship with your siblings. There can also be distance or a loss of a siblings or no younger siblings. This also can put you in situations where other people criticize and judge you. So this lack of communication can come from a fear of judgment, a fear of being misunderstood. So there is a tendency to hold back your thoughts, your feelings, your ideas. Once again, Saturn in this third house gives you excellent focus and concentration. You are able to retain a great deal of information and you can have a very strong memory with this placement as well. But you may be very slow in your approach to learning and gaining information. And as you get older, closer to that age of 30 or 36, this can make you skilled in this area. So you can become an excellent lecturer, an excellent writer, especially in the area that involves a long amount of comp of communication and concentration. So you tend to be someone who expresses yourself in a slow and long manner. You are able to get out a great deal of information. So this position makes you a very deep thinker. Saturn in the third house also can give difficulties around travel. So there may be conflicts or issues in this area, or it may be that you feel that you are easily drained while traveling. So this can be an area where you prefer not to travel. However, as you get older, you may find that you are traveling to foreign places, which is seen through the aspect onto the ninth house. So this can take you into foreign cultures, and this becomes all about exploring philosophy and religion. From a young age, you may have a detachment from philosophical, religious, spiritual systems, especially pertaining to your own culture or your father. So you may be someone who doesn't like to take advice from others. This is a very independent position with Saturn in this third house. And so there may be a tendency to have conflicts with teachers, mentors, father figures, those who give you wisdom. You may reject this from a young age. And this ends up taking you to a space of developing your own religion and philosophy. Once again, taking you into foreign cultures, 
foreign religions, different philosophies where you are able to find the belief system that is true to you. You may also have conflicts with your father due to this indifference in views and opinions. Along with this, Saturn aspecting onto this ninth house can sometimes indicate the loss of a father or distance with the father. As Saturn aspects onto the ninth house, along with the fifth house, which are both houses relating to education, there tends to be delays and obstacles in education. Once again, you have your own way of learning with this position, so this can create obstacles for you in your early education. However, you're able to improve in this area. Once again, Saturn is all about this growth and improvement with time. This can also pose issues in your college courses as well. So as you go on to later education, there can be issues also, but you also can return back to education if you are taking a break from this because Saturn gives this longevity. So you are someone who is constantly developing your knowledge and skills over the course of your life. This is a very slow process of gaining this knowledge. It may be that you are someone who is looking to use your knowledge practically. So this also can be a position that gets you involved with business, where you become very much about work and career. Saturn aspecting onto the fifth house can create delays around children or difficulties with children. So you may have some conflicts and you may become overprotective in this area with children, which can lead to these obstacles. Fifth house is also a house of romance, so you may find that there are difficulties with relationship, especially in short-term partnerships. There can be difficulty with finding the right partner, but Saturn is not impacting the seventh house unless you have the seventh Lord involved with this Saturn in some way. So this tends to not disrupt marriage, but it can cause delays around farming relationships. Saturn is also going to give an aspect onto the 12th house. The 12th house is all about our imagination and subconscious mind. So this can give you a lot of fear and anxiety as it aspects onto this 12th house. This can be a position where you struggle with anxiety and depression. And once again, with Saturn in the third house of communication, there can be issues with social anxiety. So this becomes a very challenging position from a younger age, but this tends to improve with time. As Saturn aspects onto the 12th house, it also can get you into spirituality and mysticism. This is a position where you are searching for a deeper truth in life where you're searching for the answers. And so this can take you towards spirituality. But again, this tends to be a long life discovery of getting into this deeper knowledge and understanding. So this tends to help you to develop your spirituality later in life. As Saturn aspects onto this 12th house, once again, this can take you into foreign lands at some point, but it also can create fears around travel sometimes. So this is a position where this becomes all about believing in yourself, about being able to push yourself forward with this third house Saturn. Saturn in the third house gives you a lot of patience, a lot of focus, a lot of discipline once again. But sometimes there is a fear of not getting the results that you want from your actions or being judged by others. So it is all about developing your confidence and self-esteem. The 12th house can take you into isolation as well. So once again, this fear of judgment can close you off from the world. Ultimately, this position of Saturn in the third house is making you very wise with time and experience. So you become someone who is able to give good advice to others, someone who has practical and spiritual wisdom. So this is a very powerful position. And along with this, as you put forth effort into your career, you can become very successful with this. Again, especially in self-employment as that third house is all about your self-efforts. So this is a hugely independent and wise position. 